Oh, oh, he came back. Tidal wave and attic. Oh. oh, he'll come back. Don't worry. There, he got it again. Does he? Oh, he dropped it. It must be small. There, he got it. Right next to oh. the... Oh, not a bad one. That's actually a pretty good one. Yeah. That was sweet. Yes. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. That's where the plastics can shine so much because you get to talk fishing to biting it. You know, it's like they see the bait, they're so aggressive, I think there's so many that they just shoot up and dart at it and they miss a lot of times. But if you just kill the bait, do nothing. Wow. I'm gonna, dang. You want me to net this one for you? You're gonna get them. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get well, them out of the pretty, motor. That's a pretty tasty fish. That is a big fish. Yeah, yeah, why don't you scoop them, bud? All right. That is a big one. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop for you. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's Ready. a big boy. Nope, he did not want to come in. We'll get swing him around. No need to panic. There we go. Wow. Wow. Hip hip hooray. Wow. Wow. Check this <laughs> jack out. Wow. That's a beaut. Another giant, a beaut. giant pike. I mean, this is such a cool opportunity. I can't get over how fun this is. And there's really a handful of equipment that you need to have on a trip like this. You can't bring a lot of stuff up here, so you got to have the right stuff. So I'll share with you the gear that Mike and I brought on a trip to Gangler's. For shallow water fishing up here, this is a list of the stuff we bring. For hard baits, the X-Wrap in a size 12 is extremely versatile. I've caught countless big jacks on this bait in Canada. The suspending nature of the bait is simply deadly. Spoons are a mainstay up here. They have flash and vibration and you can cover a lot of water quickly with them. The Spoons have probably Ooh. caught more pike and trout in Canada than any other lure. An overlooked spoon we've had great luck with is the pet spoon. Spinners are another must have. It's pretty tough to beat the size six Vibrex Super Boo. And if you're fishing heavy cover, a Terminator T1 original titanium spinner bait and a half ounce is a beauty. Now for the plastic, perhaps the most deadly presentation of all. You don't need to get carried away with high end plastics. You go through a ton of them. You just need to provide a profile and hang time. The Big Bite Baits 5 and 6 inch shad is cheap and awesome. White's the only color you need. A big tube is another great bait. Mike was throwing the 6 inch Big Bite salt tube. A good hook is of course a huge part of the system. Grab a handful of VMC heavy duty weighted swim bait hooks in 6 or 7 aught sizes and we like them in a quarter ounce. If you don't want the weight, simply clip it off. The whole key to this system is the hang time. Baits that move too fast often don't trigger as many strikes as baits you can let hang in their face. It's incredibly fun tricking the fish into biting, and if you miss one, they come right back at it and bite it again. Trust me, I've done a lot of fishing up here, and I would never hit the water in these conditions without this system tied up. A couple other things to keep in mind. Grab some snaps, some swivels, of course some titanium or wire for leaders, and tools. Be sure to have a jaw spreader, a long needle nose pliers, hook cutter, hook file, and scissors. The gear that Mike and I are using is essentially bass tackle. So there's a couple lengths and actions of rod that we pack for this. One is the seven foot four heavy fast action. St. Croix makes this, this happens to be a legend extreme. And then I've got those spooled with, um, this is a Tatula type HD size 200, 50 pound braid. And then we use a little shank of titanium wire leader. This stuff holds up great. And then the other rod and reel I bring is a 711 heavy moderate fast. Those two sticks for pike, you can cover just about anything you want to cover, whether it's you know fishing in heavy grass, if you're fishing some offshore stuff, jerk baits, top waters, soft plastics like this, yeah. you got it covered. A couple sticks for heavy bass fishing and you're gonna have a hoot catching big jacks.